There's 12 mods in a year, which are mine, keep watching and you'll know. <laughs> Greetings Petalheads and welcome to a special edition of It's a Mod Mod World. We celebrated one year of existence of the channel last week and what a party it was. What do you mean you didn't get your invite? We sent everyone in the team an invite. And in that party, there was a question that everyone in the team was putting forward to me. You've tested so many mods during the last 12 months. Which ones are your favorites? In the following minutes, I'm gonna explain which of those mods that I have tested in the last year are my favorite and why. And I suppose you have other ideas of which ones are your favorites? Write them down in the comments and I'll I'll check them up and maybe do a video about them. Anyway, thank you very much for pointers to other mods. I'm always glad to find new mods for all these fabulous sims that we have at our disposal. These mods are in no particular order. I just took a look at the last year and decided, kind of about for every month, which one I preferred. Sometimes it was very close between one or the other mod because I've tested a lot of excellent mods that are very very good people producing mods for all my favorite sims and sometimes it was quite easy because the other mods in that month were not exactly my thing. However we want to order them, let's start with Algarve. Not only do I like the track of Portimao with its ups and downs, blind apexes, all the curves, it's a very technical track. The conversion is exceedingly well done. It was initially done by Tiago Lima and then taken over by the AC Track Reboot project, whose site is at the moment defunct. I don't know what happened to them. It's a great track and it's a great conversion that got even better when the AC Reboot project took hold of it. All in all, I cannot recommend this mod enough. Algarve Portimao for Assetto Corsa. Next one, Istanbul. It's a track that I like a lot. It's a track that sadly we don't see often in races. It's got again ups and downs, curves, so it's technical but less technical than Portimao. And the conversion is very well done. It doesn't task your computer too much. You keep good FPS and if you use a VR you're gonna love it as this is a track mod for R Factor 2, a sim that has a great VR support. Moving on, this time it's not a track but a vehicle. I loved to drive the Reliant Robin, this monster of a car that in my opinion should never have been built because it's exceedingly unstable. Still, it was a lot of fun to drive it. The conversion into a mod is very well done. This is a mod for AMS and it's done by famous AMS modder Rebellion. And as I said, it's great to drive and it's very tasking because try to keep it on all three wheels. It's not as easy as you may think. We keep with small cars because the next one is the Myers Manx for Assetto Corsa. While driving it around and around and around Hockenheim Short was not fun for me, it was a revelation to drive it against the AI because in a race you have lots of fun. This mod is excellent, no doubt about it. And one of these days when I have the time, I'm gonna take it out and try it on a rallycross track because somehow I feel that this car and this mod were made for rallycross. But I haven't had the time yet, I'll do it one of these days, hopefully. 
I don't like the track itself that much, but I like the idea that when the FIA made official that they were planning to do a Miami Grand Prix, which may flounder by the way things have moved on since then, modder Jack Shefford put himself to simulate the proposed design for Assetto Corsa. This way, we interested sim racers were able to do round after round on the proposed design and build ourselves our own opinion. Excellent idea, it's a mod for Assetto Corsa. Keeping within Assetto Corsa and keeping with tracks, Misano was very difficult to memorize for me, it was completely new for me, I didn't know anything about Misano before I checked the mod. Well, now I know Blancpain is racing on that, the DTM is racing on that track, so the Misano mod is very well done, it was great fun to race and to do practice on, and I consider this one of my 12 favorites. By the way, Assetto Corsa Competiciones version of Misano is also very good, but it's not a mod for Assetto Corsa Competizione, it's part of the sim. Here you can just download the mod, put it into Assetto Corsa and have fun with it. Algarve and Istanbul are too boring for you, they may be technical, but they are too easy for you. Then I have something special, try Knudstorp. Knudstorp in Sweden is more difficult than Algarve and Istanbul put together. It's got ups and downs and curves and whatever, take a look at that. Knudstorp is a mod for R Factor 2 and worth buying R Factor 2 just to be able to race on Knudstorp. Okay, there is a mod for Assetto Corsa that I have not tested. Anyway, the Knudstorp mod for R Factor 2 was lots of fun because A, the track is lots of fun even if exceedingly difficult and because the conversion is very well done. Knudstorp R Factor 2. Coming back to Assetto Corsa, I tested Kayalami 1967 and Kayalami 2010. Kayalami, Kialami, how do you pronounce that right? And while the track of 1967 was interesting, I loved racing the track from 2010, which seems to be the son or daughter of Algarve, Istanbul and Knudstorp all put together while not being as difficult as Knudstorp and maybe not as difficult as Algarve Portimao. It's still interesting enough and I used the GT3 car to race around it. It was lots of fun. Kayalami 2010 for Assetto Corsa. Similar to Miami, Mother Notke had the idea to make a mod for the plant design of Hanoi, which may very well become one of the next Formula 1 tracks and made a mod out of it. Contrary to my opinion of Miami, I think Hanoi has a very interesting flow and the fact that driving through pits is gonna be shorter than driving the official track is gonna drive the strategists, their computers, their programmers bonkers and I'm very interested in seeing what will become of it. Maybe at last Formula One will be watchable again because at the moment is a snooze fest. Okay, enough of tracks for a while because we come to a mod for a car that was my first love. Well, not that car, but the older version of it. Anyway, driving the Mini Cooper around Barber was lots of fun because of Barber, but also because it's the Mini Cooper and it was a blast to drive it around. It was great fun. Also great fun to race. I loved driving the Mini Cooper mod for Assetto Corsa. Keeping within cars, I did three chapters of them because the mods are that good. Check the classic prototypes mod for Assetto Corsa. If you love vintage cars, if you love vintage racing and if you like sports prototypes, do not miss this mod. It's very well done, it's as realistic as possible, it's got excellent force feedback, it's got excellent looks, it's got excellent everything, so don't miss it, it's six 
classic sport prototypes of the 60s and 70s in one mod for Assetto Corsa, classic prototypes from Assetto Corsa Legends. That was 11 mods, now we're coming to the 12th mod. As I said, no particular order, it's not that the last mod was better than the one before last. I present to you, because it's got a fantastic flow in my opinion, the Brno track, a mod for R Factor 2. First time I encountered Brno was, I think, in Race 07. And since then, I've loved to drive on this track. While the curves are mostly 90 degrees, they are in a way that it's got an excellent flow and it makes you be very careful with your car. And I suppose that in real life, as well as in longer races in a simulation, this track eats up your tires. Because imagine trying to be as fast as possible and all you encounter are 90 degree corners. You're going from left to right, from right to left and your tires will suffer. You may think we've come at the end, but I would like to make a special mention to something that is not a mod, but that I think may change sim racing if it continues being as well done as it is until now. I'm talking about the ratings on Assetto Corsa Competizione. The way the ratings feel right now, and we are on Assetto Corsa Competizione 0.605 or something like that, they show a very good analysis of your driving, and if you're a mediocre driver like I am, they show a too well analysis, but that's life. And if those get together with being able to filter through the ratings, we will have excellent conditions for online racing with people who are roundabout at your level of racing. All in all, I think it's a very good idea and they are very well thought out and I do sincerely hope that they become the measure by which we sim racers are gonna measure any other kind of ratings for online racing. Those are my favorite 12 mods of the last year. Which ones are yours? Do you have a different opinion to mine about any of the mods? Or did you drive another mod that I missed and did not test in the last 12 months? Drop me a line in the comments. If you have a link, even better. And of course, your opinion is most interesting to us and to others watching this video, so drop it in the comments, let us know. That would be all for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, please be so kind and applaud by leaving a like. If you didn't, write a comment and tell us why so that we can get better. If you think this video is useful for somebody else, we'd be very thankful if you would share it. If you want to see more videos from us and we're gonna keep them coming, subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell and until the next time, safe fuel, take pickup and we'll see each other at the podium. Visit romrom.net to connect to fellow sim racers and sim racing fans.